Hello, welcome back everyone. All the preparations, all the stalling with the videos is finally at an end. It's time to put all this preparation to work. Although I still technically have two turns left until the negotiated trade ends, I just don't honestly know if he'll actually tell me when I reach it if it actually deactivated or not, because uh, during all this time I have never seen indication the negotiator was actually in effect, so I'm going to assume on 174 that it's officially over and I can go freely to war there, because otherwise they're going to go to war with me. Because there's pretty much no relations left with them there. And they basically beat me in influence, they beat me on their planned, inst planned structure there, and they have, the high they have the strongest military power either as well. So, if I could somehow push them back and not be a complete mess through the, through the entirety of it, I will be in pretty good shape for the rest of this campaign, I think. So the true test is going to be now. Otherwise, like I said, there's still two turns left, so let me just get everything in position. Like, I need my swarmers down here to intercept these oaths. So I could take them out. Not to mention the fact these things are chasing after my Firefly and Survey ship, which I do not want either. The nerve of them. We're gonna have to correct that quickly, I think. Just for good measure. I do need to be careful of these fireflies, especially when I move upwards, because there is another oaf right there, so if not a pair of them, so my moths are easily going to be able to take out the smaller clusters, concentrate clusters in the least, but we'll see what happens after <coughs> war is officially laid, because that's where the truce has going to come in. So all I want to do as far as final preparations is get these damn swarmers on top of these oaths that are in the middle of my field. And promptly deal with them. Because I don't want them in my space anymore. I've had enough of it. Simply put. And hopefully with these star bases all upgrading that. And hopefully with navigational centers up here, there will be no way Hopefully, that they can sneak into my territory without my noticing. That is the hope. I would definitely like that. But they got a lot of oaths to ki that I'm going to have to kill. Heck, let me just quickly look what the hell I'm looking at. Let's see. I already have a good rough idea. Let's, at least it's somewhat organized for me there, so at least somewhat. We're looking at 21 Mark III oaths, 24. Wow, there are 32 Mark IV oaths and 27 Mark III oaths. So somehow we're going to have to beat like 59 oaths. And that's not even to mention the other type of ships they have. Thankfully, they are special, basically put all their efforts into their missile cruisers, so... There is something I could take advantage of, if nothing else. And where did that, uh... Okay. Where did that oaf go? Is there was one down there, but was there another one in the blind spot I may be neglecting? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Can I attack? I might as well wait till next turn. Because my moths can't attack, can't reach as well, so I'm just gonna wait. Until I can hit them all at once, hopefully. And we got idle colonies. What's going on here? I think that just build finished my uh, bio adaptive farm. So do I do I think I want to destroy the research lab here? Cause even though it's gonna give me a nice boost, I kind of want to keep the spending going. Especially since it's a gross world, it's probably more worth it to kind of just go straight for marketing. And then get a... Actually, I could almost get like a market capital here at some point. If that if that actually be worth it. If, nah, probably just have it here where I have yet to terraform. And then I'll worry about that afterwards. And that only bonus... Let's see, the rare earth minerals only is for research and manufacturing. Okay, I just want to be sure 
if that influence grows my my wealth any or not, but I guess not. And what else is there? Oh boy. All the all the the all the colonies are coming that are need maintenance now. So I think I'm gonna follow through with my plan of increasing influence on this system. Try to keep that going, ideally. That will only be a quick two turns though, and let the war begin. Because this is the end. Now I just need to catch them because they keep threatening. Can I actually reach them? What's my speed? Seven hexes so I can actually promptly catch that. Perfect. Let's begin, shall we? I'm Let's hope I don't regret this. Do you want to declare war on the sailors? Yes, I do. And just to admire the the results of our what's going to happen here, we're going to take a look at these cruisers and have a watch. See how efficient these things are, although they're going slow as molasses. And I would love to change the camera to something more useful. Is there something good? There we go. That might be a little bit better. Let's see. Moment of truth, folks. The first shots of this war is about to happen. You are witnessing a historic moment. When they decide to get in range of each other. Oh my god, are they seriously not going to fire each other? Okay, there we go. Let's see that ECM get to work. Perfect. Perfect. Now that's the firepower you like to see. With all those particle lasers. First time I looked at the beetles, it was only single lasers. Here... It's a lot more potent. Can I change it a little bit better? Just top down, I guess. Alright, there goes their first cruiser. That is firepower I can really appreciate. I don't know what the hell they're shooting at, though. But I like the looks of it. Now the question will be... How my ships handle. Not a single point of damage has been lost. I think it's safe to say this was a very successful first test. And there it goes. The first shots have been laid. I don't think, let's see, I received 33 damage so there still was some damage dealt. It has begun. Damage was incredibly minor. I don't know how his damage spread was. Okay, it was all on my one, for my one beetle there, so I have to be mindful of it taking damage further on down the road. But that was a very successful test, and I think all that damage was near the end of the battle. And I'm just going to have fun with this one here, and then the rest will probably be quick battles. I want to see just how menacing this is. The, sadly, the camera is not the most accommodating because I would like to be able to have better control of it. Because, yeah, free doesn't work very well. Top down doesn't seem all that exciting here, but let's find out, shall we? Although it's still going pretty slow as is. Like I said, these are the first two major battles of this war. A lot of the battles later on are going to be much like this. So I want to see how well these ships do. My seven moths and my three beetles. Taking on the might that is the Salins. The Salin contingency is it? I can't remember what they're called. Oh, it even says up on the top right. And did I lose a moth? Oh, I just barely didn't. So seven moths was a success there, although lots of damage to one of them. But in the end, not a single loss. So these things have cap have the potential, but I am going to suffer a lot from attrition if this drags on a lot longer than I would like. So I need to be mindful of that and very, very careful. Speaking of which... Can these moths take on the oath here or even reach it? No, they can't. 
So, there's the first blows laid. I need to be ready. I need to cover all my flanks. And definitely be ready. Oop, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I just want to switch to shit the swarm, see if the other one will move. Nope. And be ready to take on these oaths, because they're still pretty dangerous, it seems. So, the main priorities is to watch for these ships and destroy as many of them as I can with as little effort as possible. Ideally. Spot them as early as possible so I can intercept and not lose them like this one poor drone is about I'm about to lose so that was a bit of a miss a sloppy play. I need to kind of learn more to kind of move on one hex at a time quite frankly to kind of minimize that the losses and otherwise check my blind spots. We got more, we all got almost three full squads of swarmers and I can re easily rebuild my moss so I could probably get started as soon as possible. So this is the Tracy 2 starbase down here, so what is it lacking? Pretty much everything of importance, like... Can't really focus on the culturing just yet unfortunately because they can't attack there any time and if they feel like they can destroy starbases then they're going to do that. So I'm going to need to upgrade the defenses. I don't think I need to give this one back here, this Tracy Starbase 1, any military, real military upgrades. Because it's kind of a little more protected, but it definitely could use some sensor upgrades to be safe. And those pirate shipyards are not a threat anytime soon. So, the first blow has been laid. I said that plenty of times already. Now where the hell is the other oaf? I saw it there, so there's two of them, so I'm going to lose some moths in the process. It's, I think it's safe to say after the results of that first battle. So, I have to be ready to replenish my moths as quickly as possible. And what do I need to do here? I can't remember what I had going on with this planet. I honestly can't remember for the life of me what I had built here. I know I was thinking about like destroying this casolant to what is it make this a manufacturing capital, but I don't think I want to do that just yet. So what else do I want to do here? Probably make another shipyard almost and start moving it to the Tracy system to. At least make use of its production there to an extent towards the war efforts, because I'm fine with having one shipyard as it is with this with Miranda and the and was it was it Kefium? Yeah, Kefium systems there, because that's benefiting from all of them with no penalty. So I might as well have like a starbase or shipyard down here for Tracy, even if it is going to be small production at a time. Speaking of Tracy, we got. Construction finish here. I think that finished the entertainment center. Oh, it finished the Casalant. That's what it is. So I need to carry on with the terraforming, I guess. So I have lots of terraform options, but approval is well in abundance. It's going to have massive amounts of food. So we are looking good. Hmm. So what do I want to go straight for terraforming because there's not really much other hexes I have available to me. I'm just trying to figure out. I probably want to contribute more to its manufacturing right now so I think I want to terraform down here. And then maybe, let's see I'm trying to think of if I want to put like a molecular fabric here down here or up there or I don't want to do a retaining refinery though. Because I think Miranda is fine as is, it's the main production world, so... Do I put it here and then I get like a bunch of hexes? I kind of want to keep the influence going, especially around the port of call, so... Which means, what do I do with the hexes up here? Because I can keep boosting approval down here just fine. I got a hospital and lots of space for food on that angle, so... Approval can focus over there. 
So I think I'll have the molecular fabricator down here. After I upgrade Terraform. Because I can't really queue the molecular fabricator there just yet, so... I'll have to wait for that. Other than that, keep an eye out for pirates. Hopefully the fireflies can be of some use here. If anything, it's meant for taking out the pirate ships, so... And what are we looking on for ships, so... That's busy building swarmers. I kind of need to start canceling out some of these swarmers here, so... And get to building more moths. So, let's get to that. Because gonna, I'm going to be losing some momentarily. Actually, I'm going to need to get that basic constructor built. And then worry about the rest. And then, it really comes down to how efficient my swarmers are. Can they take on the oaths as a relatively cheap way of taking out isolated cruisers? Because there goes my fireflies, unfortunately. Yeah, and there goes my poor little drone. Yeah, and those fireflies hardly did any damage. Which is unfortunate. But can I catch it? Yes, I can catch it, but... How bad is it going to be? Because I'm going to lose a moth without a doubt. I have more health. I have the missile resistance. So this should go well in my favor, you would think. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Wow, I only lost two moths in there. Two moths, and only one of them is crippled. So that was actually far more efficient than I thought it would be. I'm shocked. But it's... Like I said, if I'm not on top of my production, I am going to lose to attrition eventually. So I still need to take care of them quickly. And now, deal with this one little oaf here. I did lose a moth in that battle, unfortunately. Probably due to hit chances and all that, which is a salt element. Everything else is completely unscathed, so we're looking at three moths taken out. And let's upgrade the starbase so we can continue upgrade that further, because I don't see why not. So there, we got ourselves a nice little boost of damage. Oh, that's... At first I thought that was plus 10 on top of the plus 5, but apparently not. Wow, really? Wait. I don't think it was applied just yet, maybe, because 11, 13, 10, you would think would be a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. That looks a lot better. 16, 18, 13. Yeah, that's a lot better. I was worried at first that it was not applying, as it probably should have. So, where do I want to put this builder? I forget what I had intended for it. Because that one's going down there. I could use some more... Well, like I said, more of them are going to be probably... Over on the west side, maybe. Where do I want to put this thing? I can't remember what this damn builder was going to be for. Uh, might as well send it down south because there's already three oaths on the way. Ugh. Three oaths with 50 damage. That's going to be hard to take out. When they're grouped up like that, it's going to be a lot more difficult. So they're going to take out my star bases relatively well. Heck, I don't even think my constructors are going to make it in time. If they are going to plan to go after a star base. Which it should have a pretty good chance taken out, hopefully. Time will tell. And I'm going to have to get my moths down there, even though there's only five. I need to start getting to work. Because i got a lot of work cut out for me here. And I need these beetles up front too. They have a lot of armor, so hopefully they should be fine. Here's hoping. Like I said, this is going to be a matter of a lot of attrition before I can start pushing back. Alright, so the marketplace is done. I can't remember what else I had. I think it was just the marketplace, so... This is Kefium 3. What are we looking at population? It's almost maxed out, so I don't need that. I could probably contribute to the gross income. So that way I have a little bit extra to kind of... Wow! 
I'm at 20 income already. How the hell? How the hell did I get that so quickly? I know I lost a few moths, but I don't think it was gonna be that drastic. Damn, that was a lot. A lot of income, so I can get right to building those moths right away. And I need them fast. I need them really fast. Heck, almost to the point I'm content with just getting rid of these swarmers. Actually, let me just get rid of the swarmers right away. I'm good for a time being. I just need those moths because they're more capable of finding those oaths. The swarmers there are kind of like to help cover my blind spots. And of course, when when uh, money is tight there, then I start building a mass of them. It's really all they could use what I plan on using them for. All right, I have. I already know where that's gonna be going. It's gonna go straight for my shipyard if it can. And there goes another one of my damn drones. Yeah, I need my beetles up there. They're taking up my drones easy. Wow. Because they got their, they got their cheating vision there. They can see everything outside their vision radius. Heck, I wonder if they have any sensor modules on that at all or not. I'm willing to bet they don't. So they are benefiting from that as well. But at least... Actually, let me find out what they have. Will it even tell me? No, it actually won't tell me, so I'm left guessing. They have 2.1 sensor range. That's what it does tell me, so... Clearly, they could not see me. So... There's that. We have fireflies, which can't really fight that. But I do have moths on the way down. And a handful of swarmers to help out. I wonder, can I merge them together? Well, not the entire swarm fleet, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to cut some of them out. Ooh, and I got my first moth done, so I could start moving that south as well. 